What is going on people, my name is Callum WM, how are we all doing? So today, we're becoming a football agent. Basically, there will be 10 players that pop up from this filter that will have a transfer value and we have to try and beat that transfer value and make more money than they're worth. Because that's what a football agent does, they sell, they buy and they make new contracts and get money for themselves. So hopefully, we do well. Right, who is going to be our first client then? Our first client is going to be Alexis Sanchez. So then it's time to get down to business. Our first player up was Alexis Sanchez worth 4 million. Who are we going to sell him on to? We're going to sell him to Bournemouth for 1.5 million. It's under value, but it's, a, it's not a bad move, I guess, for Alexis Sanchez. Back in England at Bournemouth, Michael B. Jordan probably pulling the strings. Right then, on to our second client then. Who's going to be our second client in the list? It's going to be Lozano. Okay, not a bad start. I mean... We probably need a little bit more high-end value players. After our first deal, Alexis Sanchez puts us down around about two and a half million. But up next, we're selling Herb and Izano, who's worth 25 million, to Norwich for 75 million. Just business. It's called business. That's what we're doing. Right then, who is going to be our third player to join our footballing agency? It's going to be Rafael Leal. That's what I'm talking about. That's 70 mil right there that he's worth. Whew. After our first two deals, we are up on transfers. We're making some money. Uh, up next, of course, Rafael Leal worth 75 million. We're selling him to Bayern for 90 million. This is actually quite a realistic transfer, if I'm being quite honest. And I think this is above his market value. So we will take that. Okay, then. So then the fourth player up then is going to be, from our client list, it's going to be Mario Gotza, a World Cup winner, goal scoring at the World Cup final, the winning goal of the World Cup final. He may not be worth a lot, though, I don't think. After three transfers, we're up about 60 million, which is not too bad. Mario Gotta is worth 12 million. How much are we going to sell him for? We're going to sell him for free to QPR. I mean, maybe his contract's run out? I don't know. Okay. Then who is going to be our fifth player to join the client list? It's going to be, in fact... Jude Bellingham, oh yes, that's a hundred mil that he is worth that we have to beat. It's going to be tough, but let's do it. Can't lie, this is one I'm panicked for, right? Jude Bellingham is worth 98 million. How much do we sell him for? We're going to sell him for 25 million to Chelsea. Chelsea just buying everyone in the present minute. I mean, it's a great deal for Chelsea. I don't know how they've got away with that, but yeah, that may put us down. So then our sixth client to join our list is going to be, in fact, Angel Di Maria. Scored in the World Cup final as well. And won the World Cup. Yeah. He should be worth a few, few quid, I think. Hopefully. So at the halfway point, as a footballing agent, we have sold players for 191 million. But their value is 214 million. So we're, we're struggling a little bit at the minute. We're a little bit down. But let's see how much we can sell Di Maria for who's worth 9 million, we're selling him to 10 million to Man City. I feel like he would, be, he would go to Man City, just because he hates Man United, I guess. All right, so who is going to be next on the list of players that we can add to our agency list? It's going to be, in fact, Sadio Mane, who's now at Bayern Munich, so he's just had a move, but at least he's worth a fair bit still, so we can sell him off and hopefully get the money back or make more. Up next is going to be Sadio Mane, who's worth 53 million. How much are we going to sell him for? We're going to sell him for 90 million back to Liverpool. I mean, I think they would take that deal. I really think they would. They need Sadio Mane back in their team. And we're selling him for more than he's worth. Almost double what he's worth. Let's go. All right, then. Three players to go, then. Who are the last three players to join the list? It's going to be Mohamed Salah. He's worth a few quid. We'll take that. Whew. So Mane went back to Liverpool. Salah's now our client. Let's see where Mohamed Salah will go. He's worth 70 million and we're going to sell him for 150 million to Bournemouth. Bro, Bournemouth have got money in this series. They've already got Alexis Sanchez and Mohamed Salah. What a team. Wow. Then for the last two, we will change up the filter a little bit to add some new players in. So who's going to be Messi? Lionel Messi is on our list to sell. I mean, I don't think he's worth, must be worth at least 50 mil, 45 mil, on transfer market, I think. One of our clients then, Lionel Messi, 
Where are we going to sell him? He's worth 44 million and we're going to sell him for 10 million to Napoli. What happened? Is this like three years in the future? I don't know about that one. Okay. So then who is going to be the last player to join our footballing agency? It is going to be, in fact, Renato Sanchez. Recently moved to PSG, I believe. Did that move go through? I don't know. Probably did. So let's see if we can get our money back for him. So going into the Renato Sanchez transfer, we have 61 million in profit made. And Renato Sanchez is worth 22 million. So do you know what? We're making profit no matter what happens here. And we're selling him for 1.5 million to Leipzig. <laughs> so as a footballing agent, we didn't do too badly. We made a profit of 30.5 million from players worth 408 million overall. So 30, 438 million. Shout out to Sadio Mane for going back to Liverpool. Salah for giving us 150 mil. Liao got us, what, 70 mil or something like that as well. And Lozano getting up there in the feed. They were our big top clients. But no, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe down below if you are new. Comment down below which transfer surpri surprised you the most. And yeah, without further ado, guys, peace out and have a good one. Whoosh.